good afternoon all uh, we will be doing a very basic test for joiner transformation uh, to start with we will first check how we are uh, going to do that uh, so we will have employee table department table and we'll pull out some columns from employee table and only one column say department name from department table and we'll join these two we'll find out different types of joins and also the significance of master and detail table at joiner transformation basically master and detail table are not means exactly similar to oracle structure master means the suppose we will write a query select star from employee e department d where e dot id department id equal to d dot department id so in this case employee is the driving table so on what basis we will choose the driving table the table which are having very fewer records will get chosen as a driving table so in this case suppose employee table has very fewer records then we will treat that as driving table or master table and if department table has very few records then we will choose that as the master table so just check the records here 107 and here 27 so as in this scenario we will choose department table as the master table and this one as a detail table suppose here there if, if there uh, there was a where case say employee id equal to 10 so it's only zero records or suppose 20 or 100 or then 100. so 400 mm. so if if there is any filter condition so in this case there is there are zero records so you need to take whole sql and find out the number of records and after that you need to decide whether it will be a detail table or the master table so in as of now we don't have any filter condition so in this scenario we will treat employee as a detail table and department as a master table so department will uh, choose that from uh, flat file and employee will from oracle table okay so basic purpose of uh, joiner is to join two different sources uh, means suppose one source is a flat file or xls or whatever it is and the other one is the relational table so in this scenario we need the joiner transformation to join the records it's not always means you can join two relational tables also using the joiner but basically joiner is used when the source uh, your uh, source definitions are from uh, different uh, like in this case one is the oracle and the other one another one is the flat file so we will import the sources first as in this so employee and department so my department is as a flat file so we will source import from files I will choose my flat file departments.txt delimited it's a tab delimited next and uh, here I won't read uh, first header records so I will start reading the records from the second row so next next finish so it's saying that uh, this particular tar uh, source is already exists so i will replace it okay 
another one is the employee table i will import the employee table again uh, and this time it will be from the database connect so all means uh, default means only that schema all means uh, all rest all the tables from another schema not only from hr but another schema for which hr schema has the access for uh, our employee table is in uh, hr schema only so i will import it again this table is already exists so i will replace this table okay now uh, i i have already created the target table the structure is like this employee id first name last name select all these things from the employee table and the last column is from the department table i will again create the table already exist so we will import this tgt employee department table as a target so this is a target import from database connect tgt employee department this table is again exist so we will replace this table now we will go to the mapping designer the mapping and create new mapping create m underscore informatica joiner test uh, employee now we have we are ready with the two sources again import the target now to join these two different sources we need require joiner transformation apply suppose in this case we'll drag departments column first so it will get treated as a detail and after that we'll suppose drag employee columns so it those will get treated as a master but as records in the department table are less so we'll convert department table to ma to uh, master so that can be converted using this just click this so now all the uh, four columns which are coming from the department flat file will get treated as a master and the employee columns are to get treated as a detail tables so okay, we will give the condition so the condition will be on the department id so department id and here so the first column is the department id so this condition is perfect now just salary department name is second column just save it check whether your mapping is valid it is displaying that your mapping is valid now just create a workflow workflow create wf informatica joiner test just check verify whether uh, you are integration service so currently this integration service is working this integration service is uh, offline so i will choose this integration service which is correct start is a basic task when you create the workflow the start task gets automatically created now you need to create a session task so go to the task create session s underscore infra joiner test now it will ask you to choose the mapping so our mapping is informatica joiner test now just link start task and session task save it now just verify your connections 
your department is flat file so in this case you need to give the directory so my flat file is in this particular directory so just change this thing and source file is this one more uh, when you are working on the uh, windows os you need to take care is just go to tools folder option view and this option is already checked so you need to uncheck it hide action sir otherwise what will happen if this option is checked your uh, session will get fail when you uh, when you uh, start it so uh, when you use the uh, flat file you need to uncheck this option when you uh, when you are using the windows os just keep this in mind now we have changed the source directory this is relational source xc this is relational so this is quite fine and what we will do is we will truncate this table before start loading ok just save it and start it start workflow from task over here we will see that mapping is getting run. mapping is running currently so now we can see here department table had 27 records employee table had 107 records and as it was a normal join we got 106 records since got inserted at the target table so we'll verify that again this is the target table count 106 record when we'll in our join there are 106 records which needs to get inserted now what we'll do we'll change the joining strategy here we'll use master outer join Just save it again in the case of master outer join what will happen it will give all the records from the uh, detail table so in this case our detail table is employee table so all records from the employee table will get inserted so there are 107 records so 107 records should get inserted ok master order join save it now we'll refresh the map this sign is of impacted when you save it it will automatically get validated so start it again so now 107 records should get inserted we are loading all the records from the detail table so 106 records, records got in we'll verify it again all the records from the employee table see 107 there has to be 107 records at target table so there are 107 records got inserted at target table now we will again change it to change it to detail outer so all the records from the master table will get inserted how many records are there at the master table master table is department table so there are 27 records so all 27 records should get inserted so there there should be 122 records all together when we will do the uh, detail outer join so here detail outer join is there we will run the map we first refresh it when you do that when you do any changes at map level just you need to first uh, refresh the session so that that changes will get reflected at session level just save it then that impacted sign will go and after that when just verify your session is valid or not after that just start the session so there has to be totally 122 records uh, present in the target table we'll just see so yes there are totally 122 records got inserted at the target table we'll verify the count 122 now lastly the very last option remaining is the full outer join so we'll verify it
full outer join so there are totally 123 records we'll refresh the session save it so there should be totally 123 records got inserted should got inserted at the target table yes there are 123 there are totally 123 uh, now as there are uh, there are totally 1 2 3 4 joins are there normal are, normal join and master joins are basically faster after that detail and uh, and uh, full outer join because master join uh, normal join and master join will have less records which 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 will get inserted at the uh, target level because master table you are considering based on the total number of records uh, we'll we'll see uh, rest all the options in the next session that's all